بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس یو ہیو ڈن یور ہوم ورک ٹیبلس اینڈ تھری کوشچن آف سبٹریکشن وتھ بورو آف ایکسرسائز ٹو پوائنٹ فائیو بک پیج فورٹی ون ڈن آل آف یو آل آف یو ہیو ڈن اسٹوڈنٹ Okay. Now, today, students, we solve the question of exercise 2.5. Yeah, again, question of exercise 2.5, book page 41. Again, words problem. Okay, words problem. We follow the same method of the previous exercise. Okay, exercise 2.4. Okay, students, open your book. Open your book, page 41, book page 41, exercise 2.5, and question 4, 5, 6, question number 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, I solve question number 5, and then we discuss the remaining one. Clear, students? Okay, student, in words problem, we say that first of all, we read question thoroughly, up to one, two times, okay, and we concentrate what things are given and what are the demanding one, clear, so you people read out the question, a shopkeeper earned rupees, Kamana on okay rupees three thousand four hundred thirty six in March means in March month he earned wo kamata hai how much rupees three thousand four hundred thirty six okay and the first one thing the first one thing is given a shopkeeper earned rupees three thousand four hundred thirty six and Rupees 4,250 and Rupees 4,250 in April means two months are given March and April and these two months he earned a shopkeeper shopkeeper dukhandar and Rupees in first month he earned Rupees 3,436 in the first month. And the second one in April he earned Rupees 4,250. Okay. Look at this. Look at the question student. Two months are given. But in March he earned Rupees just 3,436. But in April he earned Rupees 4,000. 250 students and which month he earned more in March or in April which number is greater hmm? 3436 rupees are more are 4250 rupees great he earned more money in April month it's 4250 Okay, now move toward the next one statement. How much more did he earn in April than March? How much more did he earn in April than March? Means two months are compared. And the demanding part of the question is did how much more he earned in April in April, then March, then March. Students, you understand? Pick the point. Which thing is demanded or not? Not? Confusion? Okay, again we read the question. A question is, a shopkeeper earned rupees 3,436. How much money? 3,436 in March 
इन मार्च मंथ ही अर्न वो कमाता है हाउ मच रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स रुपीज एंड इन द नेक्स्ट मंथ इच अप्रैल फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी रुपीज ओके हाउ मच मोर हाउ मच मोर डिड ही अर्न इन अप्रैल दिन मार्च हाउ मच मोर मीन्स वी फाइंड द डिफरेंस ऑफ बिटवीन दीज टू मंथ्स ओके यू कैन टेक हेल्प फ्रॉम क्लू वर्ड्स ओके आइदर देयर इज मोर देन वर्ड दैट द क्लू वर्ड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई क्लियर फॉर सब्ट्रैक्शन सच अ टाइप वर्ड्स आर क्लू वर्ड्स माइनर्स सब्ट्रैक्ट लेस डिफरेंस मोर लेस डिमेंड मैनी मोर एंड ई आर लाइक वर्ड्स लार्जर शॉर्टर greater smaller okay and again these are it's not important that the clue these clue words are present in each question okay it's just for you to understand the question you people just focus on the given data clear what are the given and what are the demanded clear student okay now move towards the statement move towards the statement the first statement student from your side a shopkeeper earned rupees in which month in march simply be right a shopkeeper a shopkeeper earned rupees earned money okay in which month in march how much student how much money he earned in march good 3436 unit is the rupees next one and rupees 4250 again the same sentence is used same statement is used but just you change the month here is march and then we write april a shopkeeper a shopkeeper you simply write in april in april he earned the money or you can copy this one a shopkeeper a shopkeeper shopkeeper means student yes great dukanda earned money kamana in which one month in april next one month in april how much student 4250 rupees clear 4250 rupees there two are the given which number is greater 4250 or 3436 student yes 4250 250s more money okay now move toward the last statement of the question which is the demanding one how much more did he earn in april than march he shopkeeper okay shopkeeper so we write a shopkeeper are he on he on more money he earn more money more money in which one month he earn more money in april in april then march okay he earn more money in april then march here student look in this question and this question there is problem there is problem what's problem student look at here is the first one number is smaller so we write 3436 minus 4250 here at possible student we can subtract 3 4250 we can write like this Three thousand four hundred thirty-six minus four thousand two hundred fifty. 
can add possible student. Can you subtract? A greater number from the smaller one can add possible. Possible student? No, it's not possible. So, we write the first one. The second, the greater number first, which is 4250 rupees. And from clue words, we take help. We subtract. We subtract the smaller number. We subtract the smaller number, which is 3436. Okay, so we can easily find the answer. Okay, now move students. Now you first check the question either it's for borrow or not. Okay, so in rough work, we check the question. Okay, because we start borrow question. Okay, so check check the question, write the place values, then write the number 4250, arrange in vertical order, okay, in vertical order, 3436 rupees, okay, now we subtract, we subtract which number? 3436 from which 4250. Okay. Look at the board. We start subtraction from 1's column. So look at here is 0. Can you subtract 6 from 0? Can it possible student? Hmm? 0 minus 6. Answer is 6 student. Correct. No. 0 is smaller than 6. So we can't subtract. 6 from 0. What can we do, student? Hmm. Yes. We take borrow 110 from here. Sorrow. 0 times plus 110 make 10. 10 ones. It is 10 ones. And how many buttons are remain? Yes. Good. You can do it. It's mean you do your previous work. That's why you give the correct one answers to me. Okay. 10 ones. So subtract 6 ones from 10 ones. Hurry up. Subtract 6 ones from 10 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many we subtract? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many are remain? 4 ones. Great. Now check its 10 column. Can we subtract 3 from 4? Can? Yeah, so draw four lines, okay, and cut out three lines. How many are left? One ten is left. One ten is left. Now move towards the hundred digit. The hundred digit. So you can subtract four lines from two lines. Can it possible? No, student. No. Can we subtract two from four? Hmm. No, no. Question is not like this. We subtract the lower number from the topper one. So, we can take help from the thousand. So, here. Two hundred. And we borrow just one thousand. So, there is four thousand. When we borrow one thousand from there, here, there is three thousand left. And it's twelve hundred. Twelve hundred student. Okay. So, now we can easily remove 4 from 12. Uh, we can easily subtract 4 from 12. We draw 12 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Clear? So, how many remove? 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now count down the remaining one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How many are left? 8. So when we subtract 4 from 12, answer is 8. Now look at its thousand digit. There are 3. 3. And we subtract 3 from 3. 1, 2, 3. How many are left? Zero. Zero are left. So what is the answer student? Answer is 814. 814 rupees. 814 
rupees. Now, again, look at the question, student. When you solve a word problem, okay, first of all, you read the question, what are given, what are demanded. Now, concentrate on the last one thing, the last one statement in which the demanding things are clear. From here, you clear either you use addition symbol or subtraction. You solve the question for addition or for subtraction. So you can take help from clue words. Clue words. Okay. For addition, I also clear the clue words. And for subtraction, these are the clue words. Okay. Then, then we look the question again and write the statement in simple words. In more simple words. Okay. So we write the statement. But here there is a problem. What's the problem? The problem is that in this question, is this question that the first one number is smaller. In the first month, we earn less money. It says 3,436. But in the next month, he earn more. 4,250. When you we find the difference, we can't subtract 4,250 from 3,436. In subtraction, I clear students. We subtract smaller number from the greater number. Smaller number from the greater number. So we write 4,250 first, then minus for 3,436. And the answer is 8,800. Sorry, 814. Clear students? Clear? You can solve the remaining questions. Hmm? Sure? Okay. Now move toward your book. Before moving towards your book, kindly note down your homework first. Then we discuss the question which are given in the homework. Okay? Note down your homework first. Hurry up. Your homework is to exercise homework, students' work should be neat and tidy, okay? And same steps are followed for solving the question. Clear, underline with color pencil, write neatly. Written work is so important and practice in maths is so important, students. It's clear your concepts. Okay, do exercise seven exercise 2.5 question number question number four question number four to eight book page book page 41 in rough notebook Okay, your homework is do exercise 2.5, question 4 to 8, book page 41 in rough notebook. Okay, students, take out your, open your book, all of you. Open your book, page number, open your book, page number 41. Exercise 2.8, 2.5, clear? Okay, now question number 4, I already solved question number 5 for you people. Look at to question number 4. Some labors put 4,010 bricks in tape, okay, in one truck. And 3,570 brakes in another truck. How many more brakes? Again, how many more? Help, clue words help you. Did they put in the first truck, then in the second? Again, 4,010 and 3,570. Simply, you subtract. You subtract the question. Okay, next one solve. Question number six. 1,260 newspapers were sold from first stall, means two stall are given, and 880 from the another. 
how many more newspaper were sold from the first star again how many more clue words help you you can easily solve this question for subtraction okay now move toward question number 7 a gardener wants to plant again a question of gardeners we solved such a like question in exercise 2.4 10000 trees he has planted 7875 plants how many more again does he have to plant you simply subtract 7875 from from 10000 okay and the eighth one question is 4255 pencil were made in a factory on the first day and 3760 pencil on the second day two days are given first day 4255 pencil and the second day 3760 pencils okay and what is demanded how many more pencil were made in the first day then on the second again how many more so you subtract 3760 from 4255 you can easily get the answer okay thank you